artist small business mini vlog want to know how you can make your own custom stickers without a 200 dollars uh, yes! sticker cutting machine because that's how much they cost oh my god i got you little disclaimer i wouldn't recommend this method unless you have an extremely small business like mine or if you're really good at time management and totally okay with cutting everything by hand because that essentially is what you're gonna have to do i'm sorry but yeah if you're cool with that let's get into it here is a list of things you are going to need in order. So first things first, of course, you're going to need the design you're going to make into stickers. I already planned for these designs, but you can make up your own. Or you can use an existing piece of art. I'm using Procreate on the iPad, by the way, but you should be able to do this with any drawing software as long as you have a general understanding of it. Now you're going to shrink down your stickers in kind of a sticker sheet format. Now, depending on which device is connected to your printer, you will be exporting your sticker file there. Like, for example, if your printer is connected to the device that you are drawing on, save the file to either your camera roll or your files, wherever you can access it easily. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky, for me at least. Printer settings and measurements. Yeah, I still have trouble with those. And it really doesn't help that it varies depending on the printer you're using, the ink that you're using, the software that you're using. So yeah, I had to make a couple of test prints on regular paper in black and white before I printed the final results on the sticker paper with colored ink. I would recommend doing that too, especially if you're just playing around with the settings like I was. But yeah, worst case scenario, you gotta ask for assistance on this part. Six and a half hours later. Now that we've successfully got our sticker sheet after eight hours of messing with the printer, it is time to cut. For this part, try to the best of your ability to replicate a die cut shape around your sticker. If you don't know what a die cut sticker is, it's when you get like a sticker and it has like that little white rim around it perfectly around the image. Try to do that and if you cannot, just cut into a circle. And guys, it does not have to be perfect. Not all of mine were perfect for sure. And yeah, repeat with every sticker, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, if you're trying to mass produce this way, I'm sorry, it's not the best way. But hey, if you have a super small business, it's totally this method is totally useful for made-to-order orders, in my opinion. But yeah, those are your stickers. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I am heavily active on whatever social media I am putting these on, so I will see them. Be sure to follow me if you want more small business mini vlog and tips for your art small business. Oh yeah, and I'm running out of time, but don't forget to check out my shop. Bye!